Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day. And it's 2 Peter 1, 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. What is the true definition of a Christian? A Christian is someone whose behavior and heart reflects Jesus Christ. Followers of Jesus Christ were first called Christians in Antioch. And in the beginning was the Word. And you already know, Jesus Christ is the Word. So if you're following Jesus Christ, you're following the Word. And there's only one place that Jesus Christ said the signs of His coming would be. And I go over it frequently, and I went over it in the last video because Deborah Gordon confirmed the new moon, and in every email that she sends me, it says, Genesis 1.14, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for appointed times, and for days and years. And then God, Jesus Christ, came in the flesh and he said that the sign shall be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and all that is happening. And this is the only place that Jesus Christ said that the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and therefore appointed times. In all glory, praise, honor, credit, recognition to Jesus Christ, our Father, for showing me child. And that sign led us right to the real Revelation 12 sign on 9-19-2023 this year, which led us right to Israel being attacked and going to war on October 7th. And then he showed me the asteroid Terry in the woman with child, and after he showed me Terry, he gave us this word, Habakkuk 2.3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And I say it all the time, and I will not set any rapture dates. My job is to show you the signs and encourage you and show you when these signs happen. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And we know that in the word, Israel represents the woman. And we know that Israel is at war, day 44. And we know that when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. And we know that the rapture is written in the word and we will escape. And we know there's one thing that Jesus Christ said to pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And we know that the end will be like the beginning. And we know that in the beginning, the serpent deceived and lied to and tricked Eve into disobeying God and eating the forbidden fruit. And we know where Jesus said the signs would be in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And we know next month the new moon is on 12-12. And I showed you Strong's 12-12. The definition is clear and evident. Fully clear. Plainly evident because of inner perception. Grasping what is unmistakable. And I showed you that December new moon on 12-12 that is clear and evident is at 2332 universal time. And I showed you the definition for 2332 in Strong's Bible Concordance is life, the first woman. And the translation is Eve. Now, please pay close attention, family, because this is going to get so gigantinormous. And this is for eyes that can see and ears that can hear. That new moon on 1212 slides right past child and the scorpion and the serpent. And that new moon is expected at 2332 universal time and in Strong's it means Eve. And that's how it all started with the serpent deceiving Eve. And Jesus Christ is the only one that you should believe. And he said that he gave us power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And he said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world 
to try them that dwell upon the earth. So if you're not keeping his word and you're not following the word and you're not being patient, then ask yourself, are you a true follower of Jesus Christ? Are you saying, I'm so weary. I can't take this anymore. Jesus has to come right now. I can't wait. I can't wait another day. And you're weary? Then that's your own fault for not following the word. Because the word is true and never lies. If you wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. He'll mount you up on wings of eagles. You shall run and not be weary. And you shall walk and not faint. Remember, the vision is for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father. And he told you where the signs would be. He told you where to watch. And he said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And this is very clear to see that the new moon is going by the serpent. And it means Eve. And the serpent is the one that tempted Eve. And I've been going over Psalms 19 with you. The truth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Their line has gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. And remember, I just showed you the new moon next month starts out by sliding past child, past the serpent, lining up with the sun on 12-12, and it means Eve. And remember, I showed you that it runs right to Jesus Christ, the full moon, being at 33 UTC time. And remember I showed you, in Strong's 33, the transliteration is age. The age that Jesus was crucified, 33. And the definition is, come, come now. So it starts with Eve and ends with Jesus Christ. It is finished. And I showed you, on that full moon, the sun is set on the tip of the tabernacle only on that day. On the full moon. And Athalia is there. And Athalia means the Lord is exalted. And Hydeo is there. And when you look up the meaning of Hydeo, a lot of websites say that it means excellent man child. But the true meaning is right here, family. Hyde means excellent. But combined with O, it means hero. Manly. Manly hero. Or husband and it's right on the tip of the tabernacle on this full moon at 33 that means come come now and as you can see on the right of Hydeo is a giant tabernacle so there's two tabernacles and in that tabernacle you can see that Terry is catching up to child now on this full moon and as you can see right there on 919, the real Revelation 12 sign that did not lie, that was the truth, that led to Israel going to war, travailing the woman, Israel, that child was coming out of the woman's womb, and Terry was up by her ribs. As you can see, they were spread pretty far apart. And again, as you can see right there, by the time this full moon is coming, Terry is catching up to child. Is it starting to make more sense, family? Because Hydeo is on the sun that's on the tabernacle, which represents Jesus Christ, the hero, the husband, and child is in the bigger tabernacle, which represents us, the body of Christ Jesus. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for what? Tarry to catch up to child? Wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Psalms 43, 3. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. What light? The sun that sets on the tabernacle? Let them lead me. 
Let what lead us? The signs, the sun, the moon, and the stars, right where he said they would be. Let them bring me into thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles, plural. And directly above child and Terry is Malabar. And the meaning of Malabar is hill and land. Exactly what they're fighting over. The promised land. So Malabar in the second tabernacle means hill. Oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. In all glory to our Father, I showed you the siege of Jerusalem this year. The anniversary is on Christmas Eve. And I showed you after the first abomination of desolation, when the first Antichrist, Antiochus, desecrated the temple with a pig. After that happened, Judah Maccabee defeated Antiochus and took back the temple and created Hanukkah and rededicated the temple on Kislev 25 in 164 BCE, on the anniversary of the siege of Jerusalem, on December 27th, 164 BCE, the same date this year that the full moon is on at 33, that means come, come now, and age, Jesus Christ's age when he was crucified, in all glory to our Father, he showed me on that day, there's an asteroid slash minor planet slash star right above Terry, and it's called Sijna. And when you look up the meaning of N-A, it means net and catch. Like the net is full and we're about to be caught up. Wait for it, because the child is about to be born, family, as you can see right next to child. And as you can see, those crosshairs is where child is. So Isaac is right next to child, directly next to child. And Isaac means he laughs. Isaac, the son of Abraham and Sarah, that laughed when God told him that they were going to have a child because they didn't believe the child was going to be born like a lot of you don't believe that the rapture is about to happen and the child is going to be born. The heavens declare the glory of God. Our departure, our exit is written in the heavens, in the signs. They're right here, family. And if you're still weary and you're not waiting on the Lord, you should be and you should be laughing. You should be full of joy. Isaac means laughter. And remember, I showed you Adoria means wheat. Well, Adoria also means declension. And declension means a falling away. So don't be a part of the great apostasy and don't fall away from your faith. And where does faith come from? From hearing, hearing the word of God. Our faith is in him. And Electra is right there. And Electra means amber. What is the amber light in the Bible? The color symbolizes the fire of God and the presence of God. The presence of God is there. And remember, Christina had this dream and she was pregnant with child and God showed her this calendar and December 19th was circled and he told her that was her due date. Well, Christina is right there with child. Christina means Christina, Christina with child. And Christina and Christina, the meaning is a follower of Christ. And right in front of Christina is Venetia. And Venetia means blessed. And Venetia also means city of canals. Like the birth canal? And if this seems too good to be true, it's not. The child will be born. And we will be caught up. And Ohio is right there. With child. With Christina. With Isaac. And Ohio means great river. And the motto of Ohio is, with God all things are possible. The heavens declare the glory of God. And this new moon on December 12, 12, 12, it starts with Eve. And the full moon on December 27th ends with Jesus Christ.
And all year since January, he's been telling me green means go. And December 12th is Green Monday. The same day that the United Nations Climate Change Conference ends. And what I'm about to show you is beyond gigantic, enormous because we're waiting for Jesus Christ to come and get us. And the signs are in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And remember, the wise men followed the star of Bethlehem to find Jesus Christ. And after they found Jesus Christ, the wise men were warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, so they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. Right after Joseph and Mary and Jesus Christ escaped, and all glory to our Father, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for our sister Bridget, she left this comment. Amen. God bless. Look up. It's near. Amen. Come now, Lord Jesus. And then she asked, can we find a link in Stellarium with the dragon that seeks to devour the child, the church, and the Feast of Holy Innocence on December 28th? December 28th. The Feast of Holy Innocence in remembrance of the massacre of the young children in Bethlehem by King Herod the Great in his attempt to kill the infant Jesus. Also, December 28th would be the 280th day of the Hebrew year starting at Nisan 1. 280 days is 40 weeks of pregnancy, a full term family, and I'm being filled with the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father. Nisan 1. 323, which in Bible Strong's concordance is a showing forth. It's John the Baptist preparing the way for Jesus Christ. Plus 280 days equals December 28th, 2023. Fear not. Trust in Jesus. He loves us so much. We are his beloved. Look up. The rapture is about to happen. Well, sister, I showed everybody in the last video, right in the mix, there's an image of a dragon in the heavens right there. And as you can see, right next to the sun is the crew space 10 X seven, the dragon, right when the 27th starts right on the full moon at 33, which means come, come now age 33. And the dragon comes back around on the 27th, right before this day that she just brought to our attention and is right there with the child. And not only that, King Herod's daughter-in-law, Herodias, Queen Herodias, who was a major part in John the Baptist beheading, is going into the scale on that day, representing beheading and tribulation, Jacob's trouble. So family, be patient and wait for it like the word said. And if we're still here on the anniversary of Epiphany Day, the wise men, the day, the anniversary of when they found Jesus Christ on January 6th, if we're still here, you could see child is right there on the exact day that Terry catches up to child and is lined up perfectly with child. And remember the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, our Father, he told me, finding the day of the rapture is not what's important. What's important is what you do until the day of the rapture. So keep your heads lifted up and keep following Jesus Christ, the word, and do what he said because he said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not what I say? So if you believe that he's Lord, God Almighty, do what he says.